Hi, Rob here, and I'm going to play this game called What Does This Do? And I'm going to start this program, which is eQuake3D.exe run. Ta da! Full screen. There you go. Earthquakes. Fantastic. Just what you okay. wanted to see, I'm sure. So, what else can I show you? We can change the settings. There's the Earth. There's a sphere. Oh, I think I prefer Earth. There's night. I guess that's day. Hidden. Something got hidden. I hide it again. Uh, outline islands. Yes, islands are good. Outline would be national or you know, maybe land. Uh, Earth. Um, what's the word? Continental outlines. Oh yeah. Why not? Lakes. We all need lakes. Some rivers, perhaps. Some nations, well, we could do out a few of those, but anyway, states within nations, I guess. Kilometres, aha, uh -huh. kilometres, kilometres, yep, turns kilometres on and off. Mag would be magnetic, no, magnitude, magnitude, I said, magnitude of the earthquakes. Kilometres, not quite sure what the kilometres are, but I prefer magnitude. Solar, hmm, still prefer magnitude. Shell, that's nice. I like that. Angle. Oh, that could be useful, I guess. But I'll turn that off. Now you can sort using these filters, or perhaps filter using these filters. By magnitude, that's set on zero, so it captures just about everything. If we went zoomed it up to ten, just about nothing, or well, nothing I can see, drop it down to, say, seven, not much, six, and there you go, an earthquake. Southern Hemisphere, somewhere north of New Zealand, five point something on the Richter scale or some sort of magnitude scale anyway. But wait, there's more. Here's another one. 6.7. Yeah, I think that one's 5.9 over there. But anyway, 6.7. And this is, is over the last day and a half, by the way. 6.7, that's big. Yeah, that would be somewhere in the Andes. So if we went down to five, a few more appear. So there you go. If you go below that, more appear. So we're getting the Italian, the recent Italian earthquakes there, or aftershocks, tremors, whatever you want to call them. And going down, and if we go down far enough, once again you get all of the earthquakes we can possibly imagine. Now, that's over the last day and a half. Over the last day, half a day, dropping back. So that's fairly recent, that Italian earthquake. Northern Italy, it looks like. And we can go forward seven days. And then you see a full seven days every earthquake that the US Geographic Service or Geographic Survey, whatever they call themselves, the USGS have uh, plotted for us. What a useful little thing. And of course you can move it. So in terms of interest in earthquakes, that is great. In terms of interest in the world and how it works, this is good. In terms of wonderful, fascinating graphics, it's excellent. And that was eQuake 3D. Where do you get it from? Good question. Oh, we can update, by the way. Uh, you can go to the website and press help. And here it's it is, the website. USGS website. And it's showing the latest earthquakes in the world in the past seven days. Real-time earthquake map. Get real-time data sent to you. Significant earthquake archive. Top 10 lists and map. What more could you possibly ask for? So there you go. I thought I'd show you that. And now I have. And you get that program by searching EQ3D. Just search for EQ3D. In your favourite web browser. That's what that does. Rob out.